Hello everybody, the I Lord Root here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Prison Architect. And you can kind of see there, we had a little bit of an interesting bug going on where, I guess the game, whenever you reload it, has to decide precisely where the prison cells are. And it's decided for some reason or another that I didn't have enough. Well, enough with that. Let's go ahead and begin planning out our maximum security complex. And this is going to be an interesting deal for us. This is going to more or less be, um... I, I think we're going to build maximum security first and then extend onto it later. That seems to be the best thing for us to do right now, and I believe this was going to be one of these, in fact, was going to be our break room and our yard. The maximum security guys won't get much in the way of a yard because they're... Yeah, you know, they're hardened criminals, so... What are we going to do with mass murderers? We're going to... put them in a confined space. Now, I believe that we should approach this from the standpoint that this is just another project for us. This is um, definitely something that we want to um, probably take out another loan for. As much as I'm loath to do it, but the payoff will be good. We're going to have up to some 150 bucks per prisoner. Maybe not the best in terms of, um, let's do this, let's put in a cell real quick. We'll take that out later. We'll put in a large, well, let's get the foundation laid first. But we will go ahead, we'll get these guys taken care of, and they are going to be maximum security, so I'm going to power everything off of this one room up here, I believe. That would probably be the best thing for us. And now we got that going. We'll put in... We got a large jail door we can put in. And we will just let that go for a little bit. We'll let that cook for a little bit. Now, I'm thinking that once we get these guys taken care of, we're going to have some good things to do here. One thing I want to do for sure is, um, now we've gotten, have we gotten this area walled off? It looks like we have. I just want to, um, go through here to deployment, make sure that we go to our jobs. We now have people doing laundry. That is uh, a total, it looks like, of 20, so we've got a full laundry room. Which is nice. So I'm going to put in as well the beginning of our maintenance areas here. They're not maintenance areas, but our washers. And we should have more than enough for everybody here 
to have some kind of job. I think that ironing board there, if we go to it, we have that one spare ironing board. But maybe made this a little bit too big, but that'll be okay. And we can maybe, I haven't really quite decided what I wanted to do here. We are missing a wall. Here it looks like, so I'm going to put that in. And we are doing fairly well on this part here. might be good as well, or at least I'm thinking, to have an access point up here somewhere. We don't want these guys fiddling with the power, that could be bad. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the most efficient prison. Unfortunately, there's no good way to prevent these guys from fiddling with the power, so I'm going to have to have armed security of some kind. The only thing I can think of to do here is to have these guys come in through our visitation room which I would think is a fairly good trade-off to have here. And these guys are waiting for what? Water. I guess we... we don't get pipes for free. But for now, we will, you know what I'll do, I will set the soap in so that the workers can do their deal. And hopefully the prisoners will get on through here. We'll put in a door up here as well. Now we do need to route supplies down here. And I think I'm going to do that this way. But, um, we'll, we'll get that all taken care of. We'll just have these. Oh, mains. Areas here. And these guys will continue building. And so far we are turning a profit. So I'm not too bothered about that. Now maybe we just want to um, go through and do some other prison keeping stuff. And I think the biggest part of that is going to be locking down these visitation rooms. Because these guys will probably choose to leave in a way that is 
not entirely kosher for us. I mean, let's face it, you know, they are hardened criminals, these guys. Maybe another thing we might want to do is get another drug dog, and we will need them. Looks like somebody has been caught with a fork. And some people with spoons, too. I think it's very important that we take care of that. What's going on here? What complaints do we have? It's largely food. Now, there's a trick I saw earlier. If we go to the regime, we can possibly optimize this some because what we can do here is we can set this as free time. And they will sleep in their own time. We can maybe have two hours of sleep going on, but they should be able to uh, sleep and do anything else, pretty much aside from... I mean, they can't really... you know, um, they can't work during the time we have here, the time we've allocated, at least. And let's just get the utilities going here. They can't really work during that time, but they can do other things. Is our building complete? Let's... I'm going to begin by walling this area off. At least so that, um, what we can do here and what we really want to do is, um, we'll put in between a gel door and a solitary door. It's a hard call. I think a gel door is going to be sufficient. And we will also bulldoze out that wall there. Did I complete a grant? I must have. I guess um, we completed one of our things here, we go back to grants, we have an extra grant here, Carpentry Apprenticeship is good. I think we should definitely aspire to do that, and we can make that happen by going to programs. That starts from 10 to one maybe, let's see, five to seven. Whoa. Oh right, we had um we had a bunch of things going on here. That would explain it. And we will make a little bit less money, but we're getting income every time we do this, so... 
One thing we definitely want to do then is I'm trying to decide whether or not. Uh oh, not everybody's fed. Maybe if we go into the regime, since there's so many people, they can go into the yard anytime they want to. We'll give them a little bit more time to eat. And have them shower before work. Which they should be able to do. If they have that three hours to eat, then that won't be so bad. Oh, what do we have going on here? That is install electrical cable. That is blocked, it seems. We'll. I think what we'll do is we will add in a door here, even though I'm not entirely sure what's going to go on here yet. I thought about maybe turning this into a holding cell of some kind. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. But now everybody is going to be scanned. Since we happen to have this still going on here, what I think we should do right now is actually go in and begin building another power station. Now we are spending a lot on this. But this is going to be worth it, and the reason is, is that we're making more in the way of money, just by having more prisoners, and we don't want any escapes. Well, what do we have going on here? These guys are missing their... their deals here. We'll just set this to normal mode. And I think it's about time maybe for a shakedown. Hopefully it remembers exactly what we're doing. As you can see, we're getting pretty close to finishing this building here. And what do we need for this? Ten superior beds. Well, what's the worst that can happen? I mean, we can... get substantially less in the way of beds here. I have no idea what just happened. I guess I just sold some license plates. Oh no, I see what happened. They... This is the other way around. We bought some stuff. Okay, let's uh, let's begin by getting these guys here more or less um, hooked up. Now there's some changes we can make here. These don't all have to necessarily be. Well, they could be holding cells, I guess. Or these are holding cells here. 
We could put our holding cells down in the middle, I reckon. Except... I made a mistake here. We want to actually bulldoze this foundation. I did waste a little bit of money doing that. But with that having been said, we definitely want to, uh, and let me just let this guy out real quick. Ooh, somebody's found an escape path. You have to be vigilant here. These guys are damn near ruthless. But I mean, so far I think we're doing pretty well. I definitely want to uh, go through at some point, and while we're getting everything going, we'll just wall in this stuff here. Ooh, yeah, we need to... Let's grab these guys. We'll, we'll let them in for now. Set to door mode. Open. Even though there's no reason for these guys to come in here. But that's going to be our third and final a deal going on here. And we're back up now because there's um, a lot in the way of... Um... Oh, there we go. You know, there's a lot in the way of, um, things we can do here. And we've, of course, got tons of deliveries. I guess this is exports. At least here. But we can begin, at least at some point, at this, um, some point now, we can begin to actually get these guys going. And we are, in my opinion, doing quite well. Now I say that, but... The trouble is, is that, oh, oh, did I accidentally place, I think I accidentally placed a transformer down here, I'll dismantle that, or not a transformer, but rather a capacitor. If we go to our utilities, 
we can just put that in. If I knew how. Oops, well, there's a, uh, that'll be okay. That's going to be thinking towards the future. Other things we need to do, and we need to do this very carefully. Because if we don't, then we risk letting out all of the prisoners as a result. And you want to talk about a reduction in value. Imagine what would happen if instead of, you know, several prisoners, in fact, we need some more cash, are we? I think we're due to, to have somebody move in. Well, I, I guess I was going to say at any rate that... We're at risk here. We need some sort of way to prevent these prisoners from ruining everything. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get this pipe network. In fact, it would be kind of interesting to set up a sort of maze for these guys. But we'll at least get this down to the shower area. Have they deconstructed this yet? That's supposed to be scheduled for deletion. In fact, I think, there we go, that's what it is, I have to delete those walls. And we have to go back in after the day is said and done, and bring those walls back. Well, we got some prisoners that have been released, and we're at 59. Once we have one more, we will get a fair amount of, um... You know, we'll try to bring ourselves up to capacity here. And you can see these guys are just off snoozing. Take it a shower anytime they want to because that's just how they roll. And uh, that will get us pretty well set up, I think. But uh, that would be, that would be good there, and I think maybe the next time we do this, which I'm hoping will hopefully be soon. Ooh, we have a, where's our patrols, we want, well, we'll keep the sky off-duty for now. We just need a policeman there to monitor the classroom. Oh, what is that? That's kind of weird. Did I? Oh. They're cleaning. 
Very interesting. Or you can see our prisoners are coming pretty soon. And I'm thinking while we're at it, we have enough in the way of tables, we might as well increase our capacity just a little bit. And so I think what I'm going to do is this. We'll make the yard kind of the common area here. So they have to pass through two sets of metal detectors. In order to get anywhere. And that'll be nice, it'll make this area a little bit more secure, and if I do that, then what we can do... ...is we can put down several... ...prisons, or not prisons, but several solitary cells. And maybe I have these as two extra cells here. Although, that'll give us 32. I don't want to mess with the capacity too much. But, what I will do, or rather, should do, is maybe, well, I'll leave that where it is for now. We happen to have um, a fair amount of prisoners here. We we actually have done pretty well for ourselves, I think. I mean, we're making a decent amount of money for one. Let's see, forty six. 48. We'll just leave that where it is for now. But we're slacking a bit on this still. We want, um... This is definitely a minimum security common room. We'll put one guard on patrol here. I think I may have accidentally assigned more than I wanted to to that minimum security area. But we just have to be fairly vigilant here to make sure that no matter what happens, nice. that we end up with a proper number of people doing their thing. And so we'll just get these guys hooked up here and we will open this up to the general public. And they are... Looks like they are dismantling that foundation, finally. So there we go. We'll, um... We'll go in here. We'll grab some walls, I think.
and we'll begin working on our core facilities. So, um, now this area here, we're going to turn into a kitchen. For sure. And we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and start laying down the foundation for some of this stuff because as we found out earlier, if I don't, then we're going to run into a huge problem which is that I'm going to forget um, more or less to place some of these core things down. So let's see, we want, well for sure I think we want a kitchen, wherever that is. that'll be up here. We want a kitchen, a canteen, and a shower here as well. Why has that failed? It's kind of peculiar. There should be access to that. But that'll be okay. We just need to get the shower room taken care of so that when our prisoners get here, I mean, these are the big boys that were bring a gun. These are the guys that we do not want to mess around with because they will fight back. And while we're at it, why don't we just come up here briefly if we go to Deployment, we're going to make this whole area maximum security. And we'll just wall this guy in here. Whoa, what just happened? Did we... We've got zero guys here. Something tells me that if we zoom out, we'll find... Yeah, accidentally over-allocated, it looks like. We got foundation here we want to demolish. Here we go to deployment here. It's these corner pieces right here. Which is rather weird, but we'll we'll deal with that. And I think we will just sort of wait some of this out. This guy is most annoyingly 
Oh, we have room for another here. Thirteen prisoners are here to come visit. In nine hours, it looks like. But let's take a look and see how our programs are going. Nobody is really interested in learning about this. But we do have 11 pass, that's a good sign. That means for now that we can start general education. And I'll bet you if we look at our grading, we might have even gone down. We've had a 16% reoffending rate, so we need to bring up our ideal here. Another thing we'll eventually want to do, but we can't quite afford it yet. So we go to programs, we have behavioral therapy. But I'm thinking with behavioral therapy, we can expand this hospital out just a little bit. In fact, why don't we do that? That would, um, that would give us several several things we can do here and they can't really get drugs out of the psychiatrist office so we'll make that above the workshop and maybe add some cells in after that And you'll notice too, if we look at our finance, if we um, pay off part of that loan, then we will end up making quite a bit in the way of money. Those logs themselves are useful for doing things like, um, oh, you know why there hasn't been any carpentry training? I can't believe I didn't even think about this. We need a carpenter table. Now somebody will actually get trained. And in the interim, we'll have people that will be able to build things. But with these 13 prisoners coming in, coming to pick up the slack here, well, you can see our issues are going down quite a bit. And we got people being released at this point, which means that the, the hardest part of this is probably going to be keeping up minimum security.
But I think that we've done pretty well for ourselves so far. And now that money's coming in, and we're about profitable again, more profitable than you might imagine, anyhow, I think we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Now if we go here to deployment, we have the maximum hired for our workshop. Which isn't bad, I mean we um... We do want a fairly big workshop here. And in fact, we might expand that out just a little bit. But let's just, we'll zoom in real quick. These are free, so I'm going to let this guy come out to finish the deal here. And maybe carpentry can be our big selling point here. It looks like I accidentally made time go a little bit slower than intended. I think now is probably the time for us to hire on another workman here. And once these guys receive the proper training, nine prisoners, let's see what we have here. I'll bet you. We're doing okay on that. We have 64 out of 66 maximum security. Now we were at 54 originally, right? I think we can take one or two more minimum security. Or can we? No, we'll, we'll just leave it at that for now. We've got over three or four grand coming in, which is going to be very nice for us. We're just going to have to play it safe and not really take anything for granted here. You can see our cash flow is beginning to um, improve quite substantially. Let's see, we'll get I mean these logs themselves are actually worth quite a bit. Oh, 
Now, why has nobody taken care of the store for us? It hasn't failed, I just think it's taking a little bit longer than we would prefer. And as soon as we get some of these guys trained and shop, then we will begin making buds, which I bet you will sell for a pretty hefty amount. that will require some good thinking on our part. And because these guys can more or less go to bed whenever they want to. We'll just have a shakedown sometime at night. Are we out of meals? That's kind of weird that some... I don't know why that is. Let's go here to deployment and set this to... Maximum security. This is no good word in diet. Which means that we're not making as much in the way of money as we would like. Well, we just want to get at least one guy trained here because, well, he's doing the carpentry apprenticeship. And you know, he'll learn. One way or another, he'll learn. What happened to our... Now, we had... I guess he went to have a break, or whatever. I uh, keep on hitting the wrong button there. We can't remove those tunnels just quite yet. We have to make a little bit more in the way of money. But I'm hoping this carpenter dude will stick to it. It would be a shame if he didn't. Once we get that going, I think we will we really have no reason anymore to keep this guy open. 
we'll just keep it locked. We don't want anybody messing with the power except for the workmen. I reckon, hopefully, everybody's being fed by now, if not, oh, you know what it is, these guys can't cook if they're teaching, and we've got a whole bunch of teaching going on. I'm gonna go here and I'm going to... We have a bunch of logs here. And we can make money by selling that. It's something I had not really considered before. Very good. We're at one thirteen right now. We can accept. If we go back to the staff or the prisoners, I think we'll accept some low risk for now to keep us stable. So we will You know, I think we'll make room for another carpenter's table here. Because we definitely, if we're paying for these guys to love, or not just to love, but to make money or whatever, we do want to give them the tools that they need to make us money. And with that, why don't we hire another chef? So we're not so chronically understaffed. And we have... Man, I hate it when that happens. Because here's the, here's what I think is going on. I think that they are not able to work while they're teaching, so nobody's getting fed. In fact, it's amazing that nobody's griping about that. Oh, except people are. We 
got nine prisoners, it looks like, that are minimum security. We got some people that are being released, however, that'll, you know, make up the slack for it. And we will just, um... We've got one too many prisoners. Which may or may not be a problem. I mean, we're releasing people. And we're making like 200 bucks an hour. But at the same time, we need to feed people. And they're just going to hang out in these holding cells for now. Oh, somebody brought a weapon with them. The tension is rising very slightly, it looks like, because nobody's getting fed. What about these guys here that are learning the wonderful world of woodshop? These wonderful guys that are... looks like he's cutting logs for us. Nice. Well, definitely, I mean, we are making a fair amount of money. Tension isn't as bad as it used to be, even though we just planted that tree. We can get these guys to do their thing, these license plates. We may go to export possibly, unless we can get somebody to do the stack. And why on earth is nobody taking care of this staff door because I'm pretty sure that I'd asked for one to be put in so we can do group therapy And looks like I placed a random staff door somewhere. I don't know where. And that is something I'd like to see fixed, even though I've really got no clout with these uh, the developers. Because it is a little bit annoying. Oh, you know what, we'll, we'll open the sky. 
Uh, we got the metal detectors going. There's going to be more than one way to get into the yard. Now everybody is busy going to work, it looks like. When that goes down to 58, I'm going to get us some more minimum security. See, that guy is the teacher, it looks like. And why is the police are not doing their job? We'll just leave that open for now. I might want a guy right next to there. Now the green, what does the green mean? Oh, grand. So the teacher gets there, doesn't teach him anything. And then... expects me to let him teach. I'm gonna... I think probably the best thing to do here is I'm going to put a patrol route here and just set a guard on the outside. That would probably be the best thing for us to do here. And I have a feeling I've multiply assigned some people to this route. Let's have ourselves, once these guys get fed, let's have ourselves a shakedown. Wow, we found somebody with a drill that escaped the metal detector, which I'm not too terribly happy about because, you know, I rather do not like this idea. We're at 59. You know, I don't like this idea that these guys would be taking tools to try to escape, even though I've done my very best. Like, look, that guy's got liquor. He can't be drinking in my prison. What's so bad about my prison that you need to drink? Can you tell me? Because I don't think you can. I mean, I think... I mean, invariably we're going to have somebody that's digging a tunnel. And it's sad that it's come to this because... You know what? It's, um...
It's just not appropriate. We have 39 spoons missing out of the cafeteria. And it looks like somebody's got, is that pills? Medicine. Somebody stole medicine. Somebody's gonna get all pilled up. And I just don't understand. Look, we gotta do with the fort there. And a baton. I mean, we gotta think, when we get these maximum security prisoners in, they're gonna be going for the shotguns. But you know what is necessary to prevent incidents? We've got four people that we have to put in solitary confinement because living in this prison is apparently so bad that they just can't not do it. Well, on the flip side, it looks like we have enough for another you know, I think I'm going to put in another saw here. That wouldn't be a bad idea. We'll get some more people sawing away. And we're going to want to connect this as well. And there we go, we're We've almost searched everywhere. That might be one of those, or this might be one of those times, rather, where... Is it stuck? Yeah, I think it is stuck. But on the flip side, we are getting a lot in terms of it. Well, for one, if we ever need money, look at that. We could sell that for $800. That's just off of one tree. We got some prisoners that have been released today. Let's see if we... We want some maximum security prisoners, and the minimum security guys, I think they're cool for now. We got guys learning to saw stuff for us. And you know, when the day is said and done, we can say, hey, you came to prison and learned how to operate a bandsaw.
or we could say, you know, hey, you came into prison and got your GED. And now they are completely out of driver's license plates, out of sheet metal. And what is that? That is 16, a stack of 16 bits of wood there. And I don't know about you, that's just off of one log. I, I want to move that thing. It's not quite where I want it. So I think what we'll do is we'll go to objects and we will being careful not to sell. Except we Okay, we gotta wait for this dude to finish his job. Unfortunately. Or maybe not. Maybe we can... Yeah, we'll sell that. We'll sell that and then we'll dismantle this and move it over just a little bit. Oh, there we go. We got a sheet metal shipment coming in right now. Let's take a look at our grading. Now we're... We've got lots of people reoffending here. And I wonder why that is. Is it because we're not brutal enough to them? We need to punish them a little bit more because the way I like to think about it, we haven't been punishing them enough. But we'll we'll throw in another saw here. And Thompson, it looks like, is going to become a very adept carpenter. How does these guys waste materials? I mean, what do we got here? We've got... 36... Planks. We definitely need more in the way of saws here. Our carpentry gig is getting to be a little bit old, and why is nobody... Nobody has taken care of any of these doors. Which bothers me a little bit. I'm gonna make this guy right here, the psychologist. Maybe somebody will come back and build that. And then I can make this a massive cleaning closet and reclaim this space.
And once we get our license plates sold, which should be pretty soon, and they're probably going to come in pretty... Let's just go here. That tree is going to continue to grow. We've almost got a full-size tree here that hopefully somebody will get around to chopping down. But yeah, we'll just have to supplement our income with tons and tons of wood. And I think it'll be okay. Like, if we run into... The nice thing is, is if we run into any issues whatsoever, we'll, well, we can sell this guy for sure. But we'll be making a small profit off of this, and we will also end up getting these raw materials here. We've got so many people providing sheet metal here. And how many people are passing the steel this program of ours? Well we've got one in carpentry apprenticeship. And that's particularly interesting right there. If we go to finance, you'll see we have almost made six grand from having no incidents whatsoever. And I mean, I like to think that Despite all of our problems, we are doing pretty well. We have 16 normal prisoners. This is... This is going to be interesting, to say the least. I believe I overdid it here. But that's okay, we'll just, you know what, we'll speed up time, we'll see if we can survive this. After the major expenses of the day, have been taken care of. Because, let's see, if we... I think we need two square meters per person in order for this to make any sense whatsoever. We are going to be over capacity soon, and that worries me just a little bit. You know what? Oops, accidentally focused out. I'm going to, to stop that. We simply cannot afford to have 16 prisoners running around willy nilly. There would be eight people we'd have to put in the holding cell, and I just don't feel comfortable doing that. 
But, the nice thing is we're making so much in the way of money that we can add in another carpentry table. So if we go here to the carpentry table, we'll just add this guy down here. And we'll see the fruits of our labors come to light here as we've got tons of people who have now more or less decided to uh, get these um, to further their education and somebody got caught with the spoon. But we should be having people coming into work pretty soon, and I do want to, to see lots and lots of work here where some people are working, others are training. And they will make license plates for us. Maybe. This guy is... I'm not quite sure what he's doing yet. When they come back and work in the evening, they'll certainly get everything going. But that is, um, I mean, now they're, now they're working, they're getting these blank license plates going, and they're going to probably stamp out a, um, a deal here. Maybe somebody soon will learn enough. I mean, we got two or three extra deals. I don't know if that's just the maximum. Oh, it takes some five sessions. Even though we've got a lot of people doing workshop safety induction, they just don't want to really do any thing here. But let's fast forward to maybe five or six. And while we're at it, let's take one more shot. We've got 13 prisoners. That is not really what I want. We will just let these guys, I do want to see them learn new things. And I also want to see them do other things as well. 
I want to see them become very um very awesome and practical people. Now they're gonna come in eventually and we'll have to wait for them to work here, but they're gonna come in and eventually um do their thing. How are we doing on our needs? Food is still a problem. And for some reason, even though I've given them a ton of free time, recreation is a problem too. But I can't force them to relax by any means. And now they are working. Let's see if these people continue to be busy. We just not have not nearly as many people interested in learning. I don't know, but one thing that is clear to me is that we better start making ourselves some money pretty soon. Or else this could actually get quite bad. Because we're running out of workforce here and... Nobody really likes it when you... See, I don't know if... I think this is the percentage of meals we need, which means that we need some... Ooh, somebody has been caught with the drill. Now, why did you do that, Tom Noel? Your drugs and weapons will not be tolerated in this prison, and you're doing so well, too. Maybe. Let's see what his rap sheet's like, because you can't actually look at the rap sheet. He prefers to be in lockdown. We go to the biography. He assaulted an officer nine years ago. I guess it doesn't really make that much of a difference, but I guess he doesn't accumulate charges while he's in prison, which is kind of interesting. What we got here? They are selling that spare wood. Which, you know what, we could... We could always use that. I'm gonna sell that. And I'm going to put in... Before we leave, I'm going to put in a workshop press. So that these guys are able to to do their thing and while we're at it we might as well have a couple of extra tables that these guys can put their goods out on display it's not strictly necessary but it will do I think we'll leave it 
here for now. This has been Dylord Root, and I will see you next time.